Hello, my name is Dell, and I'm reporting for Pacifica News. Today, our breaking news is that this horrible girl, Adele, has been sweeping the West Coast, creating arguments using the three rhetorical devices that she used from the horrible book, Everything's an Argument, 4th Edition. And we have the proof. First up, Ethos. Hi, it's June 17th, and I am in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today, I used Ethos to uh, teach my brother how to teach my brother, brother, <laughs> teach my brother uh, that the um, death card in tarot cards doesn't actually mean death. He was arguing that it did, that just, uh, and, and I've read a ton and I've, you know, learned a ton about tarot and I told him that it was, um, just meant like closure or like end of something. And yeah. Hey there, it is June 20th and I'm at University of Montana in Missoula. And while we were navigating here, the car was saying one way, and my internal GPS told me that it was wrong. It just felt wrong, and so I found, I used my phone and found another way that I felt was right, and it was correct. And so my navigational prowess got us here. Hey there, it is June 23rd, and we are still in Montana. Today we went whitewater river rafting on uh, the Flathead River. And while there, my dad and me were debating whether the river was a class two or a class three river in terms of river rafting. I said that it was class three, he said that it was class two, but I had used ethos because I had previously researched um, that it was class three. So I won the argument using ethos. Hey there, it is June 29th and I am in Bend, Oregon. And today I used ethos in an argument against my brother about the logic of the new Spider-Verse movie. And because I am such a Marvel fanatic and read all the stuff and, you know, watch all the movies and stuff, I used Ethos to win. Hey there, it's July 3rd and I'm coming back into Garden Grove right now. And today I used Ethos while arguing with my brother about the differences in the Harry Potter movies and the Harry Potter books. And I used Ethos because I have read the Harry Potter series eight times through. And so I was able to argue my side and prove my side. <laughs> and then she used pathos! Hey there! It is June 19th and today I convinced my brother to give me some of his chocolate by using pathos and telling him about how much I love chocolate and how I have an emotional attachment to the chocolate and then making sobbing noises whenever he said no. And he eventually gave it to me, so I used pathos. It is June 21st and today I am in Montana still and when arriving to our rental, as we were choosing beds, I picked mine out and then I used pathos to guard it from my dad and my brother who also wanted to steal it from me, how dare they, and I used pathos to express my, uh, my anger at them for stealing and my right to that bed and how much I wanted and needed that bed. <laughs> And I got it, so. <laughs> it is June 24th, and I used pathos today when telling my brother about how good his pancakes that he made were. I kept on expressing how much I loved them and, you know, that kind of thing. So I used pathos to convince him that I really, really liked them, which I did. Hey there, it is June 26th, and I am in Montana, and today I baked a whole thing of brownies, and I used pathos against myself to guilt trip myself to not eat the whole pan of brownies. So I used pathos. Hey there, it's July 1st and I'm in Bernie Falls, California. And today I used pathos while arguing with my mom. Uh, she was arguing that this waterfall was more beautiful than the one we saw in Montana. And I used pathos and a ton of adjectives to convince her that since they both spark different emotions, they couldn't be compared and that they were both uniquely beautiful. And then Logos! So, it is June 18th and we are now in Idaho. And I used Logos today to win an argument against my mom who claimed that there was nothing to do in Pocatello, Idaho. But I used Google and found that there was in fact the Museum of Cleaning to visit in Pocatello, Idaho. So, we might be checking that out. <laughs> It is June 22nd and I'm in Cal 
Huntsville, Montana with this super cool waterfall that we found. And um, I used logos today while here while debating the importance of dead organisms with my brother. He was saying how they're not really worth anything and you know are just kind of messy. And I brought up points about decomposition and used logos and different facts about the forest and wildlife and stuff to show him that he was wrong. So yeah. Hey there, it's June 25th and I'm in Glacier National Park. That's some sheep, bighorn sheep. But um, today I used logos while arguing with my brother about a game that we were playing and we were arguing about the rules. So I found the rules and researched and it said in the rules as fact that what I was arguing about was correct. So I used logos today um, and I used the facts to win. Hey there, it is June 28th and I'm at University of Idaho and today I lost a logos argument to my mom. We were at this coffee shop and they were advertising a, a drink called Tommy Thai Tea and I thought it was like Thai Tea Boba and my mom told me, she was like, it's gonna be different just logically, it's called Tommy Thai Tea. And uh, I disagreed, and then when we got it, it was different, and she won the logical argument using Logos. Hey there, it's July 2nd, and I'm at Cal Poly Slow in San Luis Obispo, and today I used Logos while arguing with my brother about some of the facts and statistics about the school. Um, statistics that I learned from a pamphlet that was given to us and I proved him wrong about some of his initial thoughts on the school using the pamphlet. <coughs> <coughs>